A toto brinzové halušky so slaným kuo. Ďakujem. Dobrý deň, pani Koza. Ako sa máte? again with a very unexpected and unplanned trip because we just woke up this morning and we said let's go to Rujumbera. So we're going to see today Orauski Rad, Salash Krainica, Krainka, I said it already, Krainka, to have the best halushki ever. My husband said that I can eat the best halushki over there. So we will see and last but not least we are also going to see this village that you guys recommended after watching my video about Chichmani and the village is called uh, Velkolinets did I say it right? Perfecto but before that we are heading to the shop to buy some food because we don't have anything we don't have breakfast yet so we'll drop by to the shop and buy something this is the first time you're going to do this yeah. Oh my gosh! Yikes! So shopping is done. We bought some bread. I have Cervena Tresca with me and Danko will have his hummus and of course we didn't forget the Slovakia chips. It is it is a must for every travel here in Slovakia. And now we are hitting the road again. So in about how many hours to go to Rajambera? Two or three hours? Two or three hours we'll be there and we'll keep you updated. direction in Slovak. No. <laughs> My teacher will be happy. Uh, I see three kilo kilometro rozho <laughs> rovno. Tak, uh, how can I say after? Potom. Potom, no. Uh, Zaboc V pravo. Dobre. Dobre. <laughs> it's raining. We are finally here in our first destination called Salas Krajnika. Krajinka. <laughs> Krajinka. Krajinka. At least it's not Krajinsa now. So it was a long drive from our place to here, about three hours and two to three hours. Yeah. But it was a beautiful scenery. Normally I'm sleeping during this long drive, but this time I was looking forward with the scenery of Slovakia. It wasn't boring at all because you can see the mountains, the green forest especially now that it's spring here in Slovakia everything is so green sometimes you will see this yellow field that is canola canola flowers <laughs> it's so beautiful but now let's try Brinzove Halushki and Zinchitsa 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 Hotove jedla Zemiakovi pirohe pirohi a toto brinzové halušky so slaným kuo. Prejedla. What does it mean prejedla? Prejedla. Starter. 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 Žinčiča. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dobre. Dobro. Ďakujem. So 
today I ordered Jin Chitsa <laughs> and Brinza with Halushki, which I really want to try. But first, let's try the Jin Jin Chitsa. <laughs> Jin, Jin Chitsa. It's like a tongue twister. It's a byproduct when they make the Brinza, which is the chip that they, uh, the, the cheese that they use to make the Brinza with Halushki. I was hoping that this would be like a warm milk, but it's cold, so let's try this. <laughs> Why is smiling like there's something bad in here? <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> Are you like Brinza? You must love this. No. <laughs> no. It's very sour. Yeah. It's too sour. It's like milk that is already off past the expiration. <laughs> the brinza is same. No, brinza is delicious. Let's try baby my second. Let's give it a check second chance. Not only it's hard to pronounce, it's also doesn't taste so good. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to try the halushki which my husband is claiming the best the best halushki in Slovakia. I didn't say best in Slovakia. You said it's the best. I it can used have to be. it. It used to be. <laughs> yeah. So let's try. Mm. This one is good. The bacon is very crispy and salty, just the way I like it. The brinza is very tasty and creamy. Mm. Oh, it's very good. It can be a nie. No. Also here in the salad is a pekaren. In English, it's a bakery. And it smells so good. We're gonna have a look inside and see what they're selling in there. Dobry den. Smells so good. Let's go have a meeting with my council. This is where we go for meeting. This place is so beautiful and so peaceful and truly have the best taluski that I ever had. And just right after eating, we met this guy. His name is Andre. He recognized me with my videos in YouTube and he gave me this thing. I think this in English, this is called flute. How is it called in Slovakia? Pistelka. I don't know how to use it, but <laughs> it gives me motivation to try something new. 
No takže ja by som vás raz rád vyznamenal toto slovenskou medailou. Ano? Ak príjmete, nech sa páči. Ďakujem. A dúfam, že sa naučíte pískať po slovensky. <laughs> Ďakujem, krásne. So we are in Velkolinets and look at this beautiful place. We are surrounded by these beautiful mountains. Everything is so green and it's so quiet here and so peaceful. And the houses are, I can already see they're all wooden houses. This is actually one of the places here in Slovakia one of the villages in Slovakia that are remained untouched of the modern constructions. Velkolinet is one of the Slovakia's UNESCO's heritage that remained at touch with the modern construction as I have mentioned. This is the well, very um, well-preserved settlement within the Carpathian region. Originally, this used to be a settlement for loggers, farmers. That's why, as you can see, the houses here are made of this um, wood timber and it's really really beautiful just look at the surrounding it's sure real there are about 55 log houses here in Valkolinets and I think there, they said that there are 90, just 19 residents here. And most of these houses are owned by other citizens who live in the other part of Slovakia and they just come here for vacation. Or just maybe their cottage houses. And a typical house here in Volkolinets are like a farm, farmer's house. And there are about two or three rooms in each houses <laughs> This ball right at my back it's called Mai in Slovak and they said that during old times the men here in Slovakia built it on their own for their girlfriends in front of the house of their girlfriends and the girlfriend tried to compete with each other who has the highest Mai <laughs> and if you get the lowest one you'll be sad it's interesting They said that among the houses are in Velkolinets, 45 of them are protected because of the farmyards that even dates back from the 18th century. Interesting fact is that twice a year they paint these houses blue, rose and white color.
I have never seen mountains so green like this. It's like paintings. It's like it's not real at all. There is even a restaurant here in Bakalinets. <laughs> but it's so close now. Feels like the time has stopped here in Valkalinets. It's so quiet, so peaceful. Everything is so nice. I mean, given a chance, I would really love to live here. Just waking up with the sound of the water coming from the mountains flowing to this village. And the sound of the chicken and the birds singing. It's really nice. I wonder how it feels like to live here. my back there you can see is a wooden there <laughs> is a wooden belfry that was built 1770 and it still stands standing during August there is a interesting folk event that happens here in Valkalinet. They call it Sunday in Valkalinets or Nedjela in the language of Slovakia. And during those times, a lot of people sell their folk arts like um, decorative arts. They also make this trpa. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's this special um, wooden cup that is specially used for Jin Chitsa in other um, wooden forms that are used for cheeses. There you can see is one of the blue houses that is preserved by the government just because at the back of that house is a farmyard that dates back to 18th century. Very interesting. And over there is the Galleria. I wonder if it's open and we can go inside, but I don't think so. And there's also a lot of wood sculpture here. And this one is a bear. And over there, I think is some kind of chapel or church. In Slovak, it's called Kostol. I feel like I don't want to leave this place. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Look at this. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. I've never seen anything like this in my life before. And that's it for Valkalinets. I don't want to leave. <laughs> but we have to end this video. I really like it. No, I actually love it here. And give it a chance. I will keep on coming back in this place. Because it's so peaceful. It gives me so much good feeling. So I will definitely come back. And if you guys are coming to Slovakia. I really recommend it. You visit this place and see it for yourself. Because I know that my videos will not do justice how beautiful is this place is i hope that you like it and i hope that you will visit it as well but my day is not over yet because after this we are heading to orava to see the oravski hrad so that's it for today guys i hope that you like this vlog don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button and watch other my videos thank you so much and i will see you again next time Dobrý den. Dobrý den. Dobrý den.